Hello, we are your newscasters for tonight. I'm Harrison Knight. And I'm Alexander Locke. And this is the News Zone, here to bring you the news that you want to hear. And for our first story tonight, Vladimir Putin continues his advance into Kazakhstan with numerous casualties. What do you think of this? Well, I think this is pretty terrible. We need to stop him. The Kazakhs, the Kazakh army is not as strong as people thought it was. Yes. Well, personally, I didn't think it was strong at all. Yeah, well, I think, I don't think Putin was expecting this level of weakness, honestly, from the Kazakhs, but yes. somebody still needs to be done to stop this terrible invasion. Somebody help these Kazakhs. In our next door tonight, Jimmy Savile has been found alive and well by authorities in Mexico. What was he doing there, Harrison? Well, when asked, he said, All right, everyone, I'm doing pretty well, you know. He said it like that, apparently. I can't do his accent. Fair enough, well. In our next story tonight, the Taiwanese president, Xi Jinping, has denounced the acts of the Chinese government. This is risky territory. It's risky territory, as we know, Taiwan isn't as strong as the central Chinese government, but again, it's protected by the American fleet. So whether Xi Jinping will get away with this or not is still to be seen. Yes. Well, we wish the Taiwanese president, Xi Jinping, much luck. And for our next story, Easter has been banned in the American state of Wisconsin for promoting promiscuity. Any thoughts on this, Harrison? Well, bunny costumes are pretty promiscuous. I thought it was just something to do with eggs, to be honest. Hmm. No. What's our next story? Our next story is... The Pope has asked people to stop referring to his car as the Pope Mobile. He says that it's offensive. And he continues to ride around the Pope Mobile in the Vatican City to this day. Mm -hmm. We are still going to refer to it as a Pope Mobile, not a disrespect to the Pope. Because it's much funnier. It's too iconic. We are all sorry. We do apologise for this. And for our next story, the French economy is in tatters and ruins. <laughs> yes! yes! Oh! Woo! <laughs> Excellent. Uh, good times. Yeah, uh, Louis will be very disappointed about that. Oh. Hopefully he doesn't edit this. And for our final story, Harrison, what have we got? A gruesome monster has been spotted in Walmart feasting on ice cream and cheese units. My goodness. Mm. Any more information on the story? Uh, well, apparently the public have said that they're disgusted by this and afraid. Children who've seen it are apparently scarred for life. Some of them are even missing limbs. Apparently, we don't know this for sure. It's all alleged. We'll have to go to our new... Well, once we get a news report on the ground, we'll fill you on the details. Yes, but according to our sources so far, the monster has only been spotted. We have some video evidence of it, but it is copyrighted for some reason. Yes. Which is very irritating. Thank you very much for watching the news zone. Yes, I've been Harrison Knight. And I've been Alexander Locke. Thank you and goodbye. Goodbye. In our next story, and most jarring of all yet, a gruesome monster has been spotted in a Walmart in America. <laughs> <laughs> In our next story tonight, Jimmy Savile. <laughs> 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 <laughs>